atoms are made up of three subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons lie in the nucleus of the atom. Neutrons join the protons in the nucleus of the atom as well. Electrons orbit the nucleus and lie on the outer regions of the atom. Protons are positively charged. Neutrons are neutral. This means they do not have any charge. Electrons have a negative charge. The outermost electrons in an atom dictate how the atom can interact. Dude, why do you always have to be so negative? Particles with opposite charges are attracted to each other. I am attracted to you. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. Get it? Atoms all have a nucleus. This is where the protons and neutrons live. Only four elements make up over 96% of all biological matter. This is carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Carbon is the most important biological molecule for life as we know it. Carbon is the central element of life. Carbon has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Hello, I'm Carmen the Carbon. Only carbon has the ability to create up to four bonds that are also extremely strong. I don't mean this bond, James Bond. I mean this bond. Since carbon can bind up to four other atoms, this allows for complex molecules to form. Life on other planets would most likely be carbon-based as well. Water allows for chemistry to happen. NASA's motto for the search for extraterrestrial life is follow the water. Now let's find out why. Why do we need to find water to find life? Water is in liquid form on Earth. Yay! This is the molecular structure of water. Hydrogen is positively charged and oxygen is negatively charged. Water is considered a polar molecule because it is slightly negative at one end and slightly positive at the other end. The polarity of water makes it capable of dissolving a variety of different substances. This is why water is called the universal solvent. Water can dissolve more substances than any other molecule.